If you use Pinya as your Nuxt application state management library, let's go and look at how we can unit test a component that uses your Pinya store. Welcome along to the channel and let's take a look and see how we can unit test this component that uses a Pinya store in order to perform authentication, but it can be any Pinya store that you're using. So there's a couple of things in here. We're doing our use auth store composable that gets created by our Pinya store. And we're also using some Nuxt app goodness to um, extract out some various other bits and pieces. So we're gonna take all of that into account in terms of unit testing this particular component. Some of this I've covered in other videos, like how to mock out the Nuxt app, but we'll go over it again here. So the first thing that we need to look at is how we handle this tilde here to resolve to our folder structure so that it can find the auth store for our unit test. So that's our first problem. So to overcome that, we need to go to our Vite test config file and in here we can add in a resolve section or object and in there we can put an alias object and we can tell it to alias the tilde to the current folder essentially is what we're telling it to do and then we can come over to our test and components and we can create a new auth n unit test and the basics that we have for our unit test is our describe and we're going to put in an unstubble globals because we're going to be doing some mocking and we create our system under test as pointing at our component that we want to test and the first thing we do is test it to make sure that we can actually import that system under test so let's run our tests up you can see that our unit test passes so we can import it correctly so that's a good start so now let's try and mount our component and that breaks the test with logged in not being defined or something is is wrong so while we're here let's just add in our assertion that we want to check so this is a test if we're not logged in we want to show the sign in in the html and the problem here is that we need to be mocking out some of these things that we're using so a couple of composables the use auth store and also the use nuxt app so let's go and stub out the use nuxt app with a mock so we can mock out use nuxt app and put in the dollar m cell object so that this will correctly work let's try that and we're still failing on the auth store so at this point we need to go and add in the pinya testing library as a dev dependency so we've got pinya testing installed let's go and add create pinya testing from that pinya testing library and inside of our test before we do our mount, we create a Pinya object. And just by virtue of creating Pinya, it resolves that object correctly and our test passes. And that's because by default, our Pinya store is set to false for the logged in property. So when we come over here, this by default is set to false. So therefore we see the sign in. Let's go and see if we can add a test in or if the store is set to logged in so much of this we can copy let's do that as our assertion for now so we would expect it to say welcome and the name of a user and we obviously need some way to set the auth store logged in property to true so let's try our tried and trusted method of overriding use auth store and set the logged in property to true and we can see that that doesn't work and the reason is that for Pinya stores we need to do something slightly different so let's get rid of that and what we need is to define our test store 
that we want to use for our test. So inside of this file, I'm going to do essentially what our real store does. We define a store of exactly the same name. It has a property called logged in and that has an internal state. And then inside of our test, after we've created our testing pinya object, we can create our auth store using the constant above and we can pass that our testing pinya instance so that that gets initiated correctly. And then we also need to set the state for that property. So the logged in property needs to be set to true. And then we need to actually set up that pinya object as a global for our test. So when we're mounting, we need to add that pinya instance in. And now if we run this, we can see that it still doesn't work, but it doesn't work because it doesn't understand what the name property is. So it's trying to access on our auth store current user and the name property of current user. And in our store, in our test store, we haven't created a current user property. So let's go and add that into the store. So let's create a current user and we're always going to call it test which means that we can now change this to say welcome test. Now when we save this, we can see that we get our test is successfully passed. So the other thing that we might want to unit test is that our sign in action gets called or our sign out action gets called. So let's go and add in a test to go and do that. Again, we can copy most of this and we can stub out our Nuxt app again, create our testing pinya. Uh, we can copy the right mount statement there. And after the wrapper against that wrapper object, we can get hold of the anchor tag and click it. So that's what this will do here. When we save that, it fails because sign in is not defined. So sign in is this method here, which is a global composable. So let's go and mock out that sign in function. So let's create a mock for the sign in and then let's stub out that sign in and then we can have an assertion after our click to assert that that sign in method has been called once and we get a successful pass so we can do the same for the sign out button as well so we have to make sure in this test that we set our all store state to true so we are logged in so that we get the sign out button as being the anchor tag that's shown and in our Nuxt app, we also have to make sure that our M cell has a logout redirect property that gets called here or method rather. And that will pass that method, the post logout redirect URI of main page. So that's what we are then going to test in our assertions down here. So we stub out that sign out method and that's what we're going to call. And then we can assert that that is called with a post logout redirect URI set to main page. And we can see that that all works like a charm. So that's most of our code paths tested. All we need to test now is if we get an exception being thrown. So let's have a go at one of those. So let's create a mock implementation for our sign out this time rather than just the vanilla one. And let's actually make that mock implementation throw an error. And then much of what comes after is pretty much the same as what we had before, except that we also need to mock the alert function. So we stub out our Nuxt app as we did before with the logout redirect. And we're also going to create a stub for the alert function now. And we create a global mock for that as well. And then the rest of the test remains as it was. So we create our Pinya instance, we get our anchor, we click it, and then we can have the same assertions that we had in our previous test. So we expect sign out to be called. We expect sign out to be called with main page, but we also expect alert to be called once because we're expecting logout redirect to be called, but then throw an exception, which then calls the alert method or stub, mock, whatever you want to call it. Now, when we save this, we get five tests passing, which is exactly what we want. So a complete thorough unit test of all the paths through this particular component, which is awesome. And if we want to get rid of that client only failed to resolve component, let's just go and tidy that up as well. Let's import our no op component. 
And remember our no op component is just an empty view component, but because we are having content inside of our mocked component in this particular case, we need to slightly change our no op component for this particular scenario. And we need to add in the slot property or HTML into there. So this is what will render our embedded HTML inside of the client only mocked object. So we can import that in and then we use our no op component to mock out the client only view component. And we add that into the components collection or object of the mount method. When we rerun our tests, we get five tests passed and there's no warnings in here about the client only not being resolved. So that's it a complete test of a component that uses a Pinya store. Hopefully you found that useful. And if you did, then please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And with that, I need to thank my sponsors for their continued support. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.